basically like a flatbed scanner. That's what you see here on the right side. You see a scanner technology that first scans the wound on the patient, and then it comes back with the print hits, actually printing the layers that you require on the patients themselves. This is how it actually works. Here's a scanner going through, scanning the wound. Once it's scanned, sends information, and it layers the correct layers of cells where they need to be. And now you're going to see here a, a demo of this, this actually being done uh, in, in, a, in a representative wound. And we actually do this with a gel so that you can lift the gel material. So once those cells are on the patient, they will stick where they need to be. And this is actually new technology still and their development. We're also working on more sophisticated printers because in reality, our biggest challenge are the solid organs. I don't know if you realize this, but 90% of the patients on the transplant list are actually waiting for a kidney. Patients are dying every day because we don't have enough of those organs to go around. So this is more challenging. Large organ, vascular, a lot of blood vessel supply, a lot of cells present. So the strategy here is this is actually a CT scan, an X-ray. And we go layer by layer using computerized morphometric imaging analysis and 3D reconstruction to get right down to those patients' own kidneys. We then are able to actually image those do 360-degree rotation to actually analyze the kidney in its full uh, volumetric uh, characteristics, and we then are able to actually take this information and then scan this in a printing computerized form, so we go layer by layer through the organ, analyzing each layer as we go through the organ, and we then are able to send that information, as you see here, through the computer and actually design the organ for the patient. This actually shows the actual printer. And this actually shows that printing. In fact, we actually have the printer right here. So um, it's in, while we've been talking today, we've actually, uh, uh, you can actually see the printer back here in, in the backstage. That's actually the actual printer right now. And that's been printing this uh, kidney structure that you see here. Uh, it takes about seven hours to print the kidneys. This is about three hours into it now. And Dr. Kang's going to walk on stage right now, and we're actually going to show you one of these kidneys uh, that we printed a little bit earlier today. Put a pair of gloves here. So... These gloves are a little bit small on me, but here it is. You can actually see that kidney as it was printed earlier today. <laughs> Has a little bit of consistency to it. This is Dr. Khan, who's been working with us in this project, and we uh, went part of our team. Thank you, Dr. Khan. Appreciate it. So this is actually a new generation. Uh, this is actually the printer that you see here on stage, and this is actually the new technologies we're working on now. But in reality, you know, we now have a long history of doing this. I'm going to share with you a clip in terms of uh, technology that we have had in patients now for a while. And this is actually a very brief clip, only about 30 seconds, of a patient who actually received an organ. I was really sick. I, I could barely get out of bed. I was missing school. It was just pretty much miserable. I couldn't, you know, go out and play, you know, basketball at recess without feeling like I was going to pass out when I got back inside. It was, I felt so sick. I was facing basically a lifetime of dialysis. And... I don't even like to think about what my life would be like if I was on that. So after the surgery, um, life got a lot better for me. I was able to do more things. I was able to wrestle in high school. I became the captain of the team, and that was great. I was able to be, you know, the normal kid with my friends. And because they use my own cells to, you know, build this bladder, it's going to be with me. I got it for life, so I'm all set.
These experiments sometimes work, and it's very cool when they do. Luke, come up, please. Before last night, when's the last time you saw Tony? Ten years ago, when I had my surgery, and it's really great to see him. <laughs> um, and tell us a little bit about what you're doing. Well, right now, I'm in college at the University of Connecticut. I'm a sophomore and studying communications, TV, and mass media. And basically trying to live life like a normal kid, which I always wanted growing up, but it was hard to do that when I was born with spina bifida and my kidneys and bladder weren't working. I went through about 16 surgeries and it, was, it seemed impossible to do that when I was in kidney failure when I was 10. And this surgery came along and basically made me who I am today and saved my life. Um, and Tony done hundreds of these? What I know from he's he's working really hard in his lab and coming up with crazy stuff. I know I was one of the first 10 people to have this surgery and when I was 10 I didn't realize how amazing it was. I was a little kid and I was like, yeah, I'll have that. I'll have that surgery. I, <laughs> all I wanted to do is to get better and I didn't realize how amazing it really was until now that I'm older and I see the amazing things that he's doing. Um, and when you know you got this call out of the blue, I mean, Tony's really shy, and it took a lot of convincing to get somebody as modest as Tony to allow us to bring Luke. So Luke, you go to your communications professors, your major in communications, and you ask them for permission to come to TED, which might have a little bit to do with communications. <laughs> and what was their reaction? Most of my professors were all for it, and they said, "Bring pictures and." and you know, show me the clips online and I'm happy for you. There are a couple that were a little stubborn, but I had to talk to them. <laughs> I pulled them aside. Well, it's an honor and a privilege to meet you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank